Dear friends, welcome to another episode of Military Operations, a channel exclusively dedicated to discussing current military topics. In today's video, we will talk about the Russian Typhoon-class submarines, known in Russia as Akala, the largest submarines ever built in the world. In the early 1970s, Leonid Brezhnev, then General Secretary of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union, ordered the construction of a massive nuclear submarine capable of carrying R-39 ballistic missiles, which were still in the development phase at that time. The R-39 ballistic missiles, known by NATO as Sturgeon, were much larger and heavier than the American Trident missiles. For this reason, the new submarine ordered by Brezhnev had to be bigger than any other submarine built before. The result emerged in December 1981 in the form of the Akula-class submarines, known by NATO as Typhoon. This is a truly massive submarine, displacing over 48,000 tons when submerged, roughly the same displacement as the German battleship Bismarck. It measures an impressive 574 feet in length, making it larger than the escort aircraft carriers used by the United States during World War II. Its crew consists of 160 sailors and officers. It is equipped with two powerful OK-650 nuclear reactors, each capable of generating nearly 200 megawatts of energy. All this energy is used to heat a closed water circuit, generating high-pressure steam, which drives two large turbines, resulting in nearly 50,000 horsepower per turbine. All this power results in a speed of about 22 knots on the surface and 27 knots while submerged, which is equivalent to 31 miles per hour. Under normal conditions, it can remain submerged for over 120 days, but in wartime, this period can extend to more than 300 days. It can safely dive to a maximum depth of 1,312 feet. This is a ballistic missile submarine, meaning its purpose is not to hunt and attack ships or other submarines, but rather to serve as a platform for launching nuclear missiles in case of war. For this reason, it is equipped with 20 launch tubes for R-39 missiles, each capable of carrying 10 nuclear warheads of up to 200 kilotons each, with a maximum range of 5,160 miles. It is also equipped with six torpedo tubes for Type 53 torpedoes, which are extremely dangerous since they do not track their target by sound, but rather by detecting the water turbulence caused by the movement of enemy propellers. Additionally, it can launch RPK-2 cruise missiles, which can also carry nuclear warheads. Unlike other types of submarines, which typically have only one pressure hull inside the external hull, the Typhoon has multiple pressure hulls. It features two main pressure hulls running along its structure, which accommodate its large crew. Above these two main hulls, there are three additional pressure compartments. One is located in the bow, where the torpedoes and launch tubes are housed. Another is positioned in the center, containing the command facilities. The last one is in the stern, where the engine room is located. The 20 ballistic missile tubes are not housed within any pressure hull. In fact, they remain sealed and surrounded by water inside the submarine, with no direct access for the crew. The submarine does not need to surface to launch its intercontinental missiles, significantly reducing the chances of being detected in the ocean. Because of its large size and spacious interior, the crew enjoys incredibly comfortable facilities, some of which are unheard of in other submarines. These include pools, saunas, a gym, and a game room. On the sides of the submarine, there are two escape chambers, each capable of holding 85 men, enough for the entire crew to safely evacuate in case of emergency. To avoid interference, the sonar systems are towed on a long cable attached to the stern where the buoy carrying the long-range communication antenna is also deployed. This antenna is crucial as it allows the submarine to communicate with its base without needing to ascend to periscope depth. In terms of noise levels, the Typhoon is far from being one of the quietest submarines. Its massive size also makes it easier to detect using active sonar systems. Due to the massive budget cuts that followed the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991, and because it is absurdly expensive to build and maintain, only one Typhoon-class submarine remains in active service, with two others in reserve, while the remaining three have been completely dismantled. As current trends favor the construction of smaller, more cost-effective submarines, it is highly unlikely that the Typhoon will lose its status as the largest submarine in history for decades to come. 
The Typhoon is an impressive milestone in naval engineering, standing as the largest submarine ever built. However, its size and cost raise an important question. In a world that is moving towards smaller and more affordable submarines, is the Typhoon still relevant? What do you think? Leave your opinion in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this.